time to talk about yet another model. I'm still working on the Bracuri Cruiser. It's just that I'm going over to the girlfriend's house to help her build a model there. And I don't want to carry the Bracuri Cruiser over there. Not yet. It requires too much sanding and I'm getting dust and all sorts of crap everywhere. And I don't want to do that to her. Okay, I'm going to keep that here. So what I'm going to do is take another model over there and build it while I'm helping her build a Corvette model. You'll see that video soon. Um, so what I decided to do is take an eBay find. I'm cruising around eBay one night and I found this kit. I think I paid $2 for it. Shipping was 4 So it was almost nothing and it looks like it's a decent quick little build. Um, so let's get to it. It is a Star Blazers kit. It is Deslocks Command Cruiser. I don't know the scale on this because I do not have the box. The directions do not show a scale. I'm sure if I get on the internet I can figure it out. I just haven't gone looking. Let's zoom in a teeny bit so you got a better view of the directions here. Okay, they're the fold out style. There's not many steps because there isn't much to the kit. There's three sprue in total. Okay. And all the sprue are fairly, well, the sprue are packed up pretty good with parts. Okay, so there's page one and two, and here's page three. Seven steps total. I don't know how many parts there are, but there aren't a huge number of them. Let's get to the sprue themselves. Now, this is a Star Blazers kit, and in the Star Blazers kits, there are always these big fins with spikes on the end of them. So when I pick up the smallest sprue, you see some of these fins with spikes on the end of them. Now, these fins are not very accurate with the model. I mean, with the anime, but I'm not going to try to fix them. It, I'm just not building this for that sort of deal. Okay? And the molding on them are pretty decent. Let's zoom in a little bit. I mean, they're not the greatest thing in the world, but they're definitely not the worst. You can see the panel lines on there and the reflection of the light. The panel lines on some of the smaller parts are not that great along here you can see all the window detail if I zoom it in a little bit more let's take that in a little bit more my camera cooperate yes you can see the window detail on that it's it's there and if I decide to light this kit which I'm thinking about that is a lot of drilling of teeny tiny holes they're square on the molded kit and I'm not going to even attempt to drill out square holes if I like this. That will not be my motivation. Right here we have, I think these are the engine ports for the back. I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure that's what those are. And if you look at them, they too are going to be pretty hard to drill out and get ready for lighting. Because that plastic's actually pretty thick and heavy right there. And drilling that out and keeping that pattern will be difficult. It'd be easier just to gut the entire piece and put a brass mesh in there and backlight it that way. Okay, on to the next sprue. So let's back this up. Here's the next sprue. We've got more. This is the display stand itself, actually. Okay, and the other part of the display stand. And if you notice, this one has better panel lines on it. So let's screw, zoom in a little bit so you can see them. You can see the panel lines on these pieces are a little bit more detailed. Okay? A little bit sharper. This right here is the command bridge. And it has the window detail on it that the other does. But they're round this time. So I can um, actually light that if I feel like it. Here are all the guns for the ship. On the anime, the guns rotate and fire. Okay, so that's why they're round like that. And in, more engine parts. So let's zoom this out some. Okay, and then we get to the main hull herself. Again, there are panel lines on the main hull, which doesn't look too bad when you get to it. There are windows on the main hull. They are tiny, just like the other parts are. And again, if I'm going to light this, I'm going to be doing a lot of teeny tiny detail drilling. Let's zoom in so you guys can take a look at the molding details on the ship. I don't think they're too bad. 
okay? One other problem with lighting this kit is that the front of the engine glows, all right? Well, this is the part right here that's glowing yellow. And, well, that again is very heavy plastic and I'd have to drill that whole thing out, put a transparent piece behind it, and put a yellowish tint to it. None of that's beyond me. I just don't know if I want to go through that much effort when I'm over at the girlfriend's house. I'm kind of looking for an easy to build kit so I can pay attention to her and teach her what she's doing. And while she's doing work, I have something to work on. So we'll see. I'll figure it out by the time I get over there. I'm going to take the tools with me for drilling out those holes because that would be really, really easy to do while she's working on things. So we'll see. But I'm going to be working on this while I'm at her house. So this will be intermixed with her Corvette video most likely. Don't know if they will be together or separate. But there you go. There's a review of the kit. It, if I were not lighting this, I could probably put it together in a day. I don't know what the seam lines are going to be like yet, but this is a Bandai kit, so most likely the seam lines aren't too horrible. I haven't had too many troubles with Bandai kits that way. We'll see. Good thing is, there appear to be zero panel lines around where the seams go. And the few that are there will be easy to scribe right around the seam, so I'm not too worried about that. Real easy to scribe back in if I have to fix some seam lines. But there you go. Neat little kit. Probably won't take me long to build. All right, everyone. In the intro, I said I might light this ship. Not happening. The bridge right here, it does not have a cover over the bottom of it. That's not a big deal. I could scratch build a cover. The problem is, once I do, it's going to be so tiny, I can't get an LED in there. I mean, I might be able to, but it would be really off. In addition to that, the support to the tower itself it's impossible to run a wire up through the center of it. So I think that just knocks lighting right out the wall. And I'm just gonna put her together and have fun. So there you go. All right, everyone, been working on Deslock's Command Cruiser. And it's kind of a stinker of a kit because there's one big seam line that runs all the way along here. And all the way along here. And if you're not careful when you trim the parts like I wasn't right there, you will have a nasty little spot to fill up with the seam filling. And with it zoomed in, you can see the seam line running along there. And you can see how I'm gonna have to fix that seam line up. Okay, in addition to that, this is the worst seam line on the entire thing. And this seam line right here is on the command bridge. So it's gonna show. And that's just gonna have to be fixed. There's no way around that. I'm gonna have to fix that seam line. Bad, bad, bad seam line. The other ones that are bad are along the wings, right here. I've been doing a lot of work on them. And this one's the good one around the output of the engine. But on the other one, there's a huge, huge gap on the underside of it. I'm sure it's showing on the camera. It's in this corner over here. Bad, bad gap. Okay, and I've just been brute sanding this down because the seam is so bad along that edge. I'm gonna have to rescore my panel lines along there. Along here, it's not too bad. Along here, I think that's supposed to be left, so I'm gonna leave it because it looks like a panel line. And it matches the other panel lines that are on the side of the ship. That's where I am with it right now. There's some more bad seams on little parts like this. They're just gonna have to get fixed before I can do anything. And there's some bad seams on these missiles. All right. So, oops, wrong way. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm quitting for the night. I'm gonna help Nelly with the Corvette for a little bit. So, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Hello everyone. We're talking about Deslock's Command Cruiser. Not unless you're the Star Force, then it's a boo. Unless you're in the third series, then it's a yay. You just have to watch them to get that. Now, getting back into this, this thing's got some bad seams on it. Real bad. About as bad as that 747 model from Academy. Either that or I'm just horrible at gluing this thing together, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's bad seamage, and I've shown a little of that already. 
you can see the notch on the end of this and that's probably me cutting it but you can see the misalignment all along Oop, I'm off camera you can see the misalignment all along there I've been working some of the seams with Abe's epoxy sculpt you can see some bad spots on the seam along there happy thought is that seam came out real well that one not so well and there's other bad spots here and there throughout the model just the nature of it one of them is really really bad the top of the command deck I mean look at that and that's not me nipping the parts that's just bad bad seam so this is what I'm gonna do tomorrow when Nelly gets here we're gonna work on her Corvette we're also going to work, I'm going to work on this at the same time a little bit, and we got some other things we're talking about. I'm going to do some changes to my videos. She's going to help me with it since she's done a lot of video editing in her past. Video editing in her past. But am I digress. Back into this, I'm going to get out the Aves. I'm going to get out the good old Squadrons white putty. I have some Squadrons green, but I don't know if I want to mess with that. And I'm going to get out some Bondo putty. And we're going to do a compare contrast. We're going to hit this thing with all three types of putties, see what the pluses or minuses are. You know, I, I'm really tempted to go back to the squadron on this for a bit because the squadron cures up a lot faster than the Aves does. And we'll see. We'll, again, we're going to do a comparison contrast and see what happens. I also might do some shave sprue and see how that works. That's a thought. Just popped in my head. Use that Ambroid Pro Weld and some shave sprue. So we're going to have four different methods here. Compare and contrast, see how they work. I've had some requests for a putty video for a while. Might as well make one. So that'll be separate video from this, but it is a part of this. I just want a little quick tip. Putties. You know, four different putties. Compare and contrast using them, see how they work. So we'll have that. You know, I digress. I'm going to start rambling if I don't get off this thing. So I'm quitting right now while I'm ahead. See you guys with the next update. So Nelly will be here and we'll be talking Corvette. And we have Cooper's poor boys. Wonder poor boy. So it says, po' boys. We can go get some po' boys. Uh, no. You know, I wonder if that's like 1980s London. You know, you get a poor boy to come home and clean your house. got a Mini Cooper in front of us. It says something unique on the back. I can't read it from here. But she speeds up, we could read it. What's it say on the left side? I still can't read it. I'll be able to read that when I get home. Something about a sexy car. Is it here? No. Oh, I love your sexy face. We have some really expensive ass shopping here. Great steakhouse right there. Oh, shit. BMWs everywhere out here. Here's the Central Market. Great sushi place right over there. And live band at a grocery store. Does that tell you what kind of grocery store we're going to? No, 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 no. Sierra, yeah, that's good. Oh, there's a perfect parking spot just open. <laughs>